Ah, time for another week and day at school. Morning. Oh, as usual, classes were so boring. So, I went to the computer lab for lunch. I find a comfortable chair and pull out my DSP to play Demon of Edo. Woohoo! Do I get a scene? It's kind of bloody, but the story is really intriguing. <laughs> wow, I didn't think that was your sort of game. What do you mean? Well, it's a rather bloody game, after all. And the novels that it's based on aren't exactly historically accurate. That's a, that's a game, dude. <laughs> Does it really matter? Hmm, I suppose not. Have you gotten to the battle with Rintaro yet? Um, not exactly. I can't find a way to sneak into the castle. <laughs> I scroll through the screen quickly to show Travis my prog my progress. See, every time I go in, I'm caught. I fall silent as my character is once again killed. <sighs> Travis shakes his head. You're using the wrong entrance. But there isn't any other one. The only other door keeps closing on me. That's because you're not timing it properly. Well, fine. Show me how it's done, Mr. I-know-everything-about-this-game. <laughs> Travis raises an eyebrow, but he doesn't say anything. Instead, he merely shrugs and takes my DSP. Oh. Hello. He removes his glasses and clips them on his collar before focusing on the screen. Oh yeah, he did. Are you nearsighted? Hmm. I wonder. What does that mean? Travis responds boredly as he taps the buttons on the DSP quickly. You need to wait under the bridge until... He pauses and taps a few more buttons. There you go. Uh, thanks. Travis hands the DSP back to me and sets his glasses back on his face. I'd save if I were you. There's a pretty nasty boss battle coming up soon. Travis returns to his computer, and I spend the rest of lunch period playing on my DSP. Well, thank you, Travis. That was worth it. Okay, um, I'll help out at school. When I stopped by the computer lab today, I noticed that the computer gaming club isn't meeting. Travis is still at his usual post in the corner, though, working away furiously. Hey, Travis. Hey, Rui. Another work day. Yeah, just figured I'd stop by. No club today? Not today. Most of the members can't make it for one reason or another, so I cancelled the meeting. So what are you up to? Nothing in particular. Travis angles his monitor away from me. Hmm. Hey, can I ask you a question? Apparently you can, seeing as you just did. Ha ha. You know what I meant. Then just ask the question. I've been wondering, why do you call me Rui? It's been bothering me. Bothering you? You wrote on your Facebook profile that you like being called Rui. Ooh, are you stalking me on the Facebook? Hmm. Kind of sweaty there. <laughs> I did? Uh, wait, you read my Facebook profile? <laughs> It was your choice to make it public. Oh, it was your choice to look me up. Yeah, but what were you doing looking at it anyway? Just trying to learn a little more about someone who was good enough to help out the club in a pinch. Hmm. <laughs> nice save. Why? Is there something wrong with that? I guess not. I just didn't think... You really should be more careful with what information you make public. I'm sorry. I just thought you were someone else. Oh, like some long-lost love who called you by a fond nickname. <laughs> Not a chance, Buster! Whoa, I didn't mean to step on any toes. What's wrong? Oops, now what? <laughs> I don't know, I think I should tell him about Alistair. <laughs> I feel like he, uh... I trust him. <laughs> I'd rather not say he'll laugh at me. Try me. It's about the game I play online. I see. 
Travis adjusts his glasses. I think he's trying to hide a smile, but it's hard to tell. There's this guy. Some jerk who took a really important item from me. Someone stole from you. Not exactly. It was a prize. I did most of the work, and he came in at the last minute and won it anyway. Then he was a complete jerk about it. Since my username was Rui, I just thought... You thought I was him. How flattering. Hey, I'm sorry. It's just... There's not much you can do about it, though. You should probably just get over it instead of running around trying to find him. Well, he said he'd give it back if I could figure out who he was in real life, though. We made a bet. What? If I figure out who he is, I get it back. If I don't, he gets all my gold for a month. Oh. What's with this music? Are you joking? Huh? Making bets like that is against the rules. Gold can be bought with real money, which leads to a lot of legal complications. How would you know about that, Travis? Rivenwell Online doesn't allow bets like that because they can be misconstrued as underage gambling. You really should report that to a GM. What? A global moderator? The people who make sure actions like that don't happen? I know what a GM is, but I didn't know about that rule. <laughs> How did you know? Uh... And when we first met, you talked about knight and demon classes. I know they're common names, but those are both from Rivenwell Online. For someone who doesn't play the game, you sure know a lot about it, mister. Travis stands suddenly and advances towards me. I take a step back only to find myself trapped against the wall. Uh-oh. I'm kind of nervous now. <clears throat> you really are too curious for your own good, you know that? What? I have tried to be kind to you. Helpful, even. But you seem determined to make trouble for me. What do you mean? You're obsessed with this guy, whoever he is. And because of that, you're poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Please do us both a favor and mind your own business. B but this is important to me. My voice is wavering so much I can barely hear myself speak. Sure, this guy was rude, but you're taking it a lot more seriously than you should be. <sighs> Travis's dark expression soften softens a little bit. For a brief moment, his gaze wanders down to my lips, but he quickly regains his composure. Hmm. <laughs> if you keep letting it bother you like this, then he's winning. Just report him and get on with life already. I... Travis shakes his head and steps away from me. He looks exasperated. Forget it. Just forget everything we talked about, okay? Y yeah. I promise I won't tell the others. Others? You don't want any of the other club members to know you play Rivenwell online, right? <laughs> Travis sh uh, stares at me in shock for a moment, before an amused smile breaks across his lips. You thought I was lying to my club members. <laughs> you really do jump to the strangest conclusions. But then... Didn't I just ask you to mind your own business? Aww. Yes. It's not what you think. But please just respect my privacy, okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. I leave the computer lab before I can embarrass myself any further. So Travis plays too. I guess I really should have known that from the beginning. I wander off to the work program where I'm handed a stack of flyers to photocopy. Unfortunately, I'm so distracted that I wind up copying all the school announcements onto a stack of pink scrap paper. <laughs> the workers in the office pay me to go home early so I don't screw up anything else. I have $49 now. Time to go home. Oops. Alright, now I'm going to check my email. Hey, Travis emailed me. About your friend. Quick question about that player you mentioned. What server does he usually play on? Just wondering. Oh, are you gonna go be my knight in shining armor and slap him down for me? After all, Alistair is a demon. It makes sense that Travis was a knight. Um, okay. What are my stats? 
Okay, I think I have one more network thing should do it, right? Heart! Ah, uh, I love it. And... Yay, we got enough. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Let's go to school. Oh, it's hard to stay awake. Let's go to the computer lab for lunch. I head to the computer lab to check my email and Facebook. Meh, nothing interesting. <laughs> now, what should I do? Uh, I should probably work on my projects more. Yeah, I should really do some work on it. I spend a couple hours researching and writing. It's a little bit boring, but at least it's easy. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, email? Nope. Nothing exciting. Okay, so my next stat is intelligence, so I guess I'll study. Alright, time to study. Look at all those books. Hmm, I think I understand it now. That should be enough studying for today. Alright. I got 11. Oops. Okay. Now it's Wednesday morning. Oh, it's so hard to stay awake. So glad it's lunchtime. Finish my lunch quickly and head to the computer lab. Hey. What brings you here? Don't you have friends to hang out with or something? Yeah, you. <laughs> you count as a friend, don't you think? How kind of you. Ah. Travis and I chat for a bit about recent games before lunch is over. Yee-hoo! Yay, games! Um... Hop out at school. I spend an hour switching off between calling people for donations and mailing out envelopes. Ugh, not exactly the most rewarding work in the world. I have $61 now. Time to go home. I think I'll go to the mall tomorrow, see what else I can buy. Email? Nope. Oh, email. Study. Oh, a musical note. Wow, this actually is really easy. I think I learned a lot. Woohoo! Yeah, 19. I got like 8. Woohoo! Laugh is good. Ugh, I am so sleepy today. Not like the other days of the week where I'm like, it's so hard to stay awake. Can't keep my eyes open. Rui. Oh, Shiro's calling me Rui now. Huh? <laughs> I wake up suddenly and stare around the classroom. A couple kids are looking at me with smug looks on their faces. <clears throat> Is there something you'd like to share with the class, Marui? N no, that that's okay. I glance to my side. Shiro looks embarrassed. What, you're not the one that fell asleep, man. The teacher turns back to the chalkboard and Shiro smiles at me apologetically. Sorry, the teacher was going to yell at you if you didn't wake up. <laughs> oh. Sorry, the teacher was going to yell at you if you didn't wake up. He whispers to me under his breath. <sighs> Thanks for the save, then. Are you feeling okay? It seems like something's bothering you. I'm fine. Just sleepy. <laughs> un. I see. What is un? <clears throat> I'll give you a copy of my notes after class so you can catch up on what we were talking about. Thank you. Shiro hands me a notebook as soon as class is over. I page through it quickly. His handwriting is pristine, if I may say so. These notes are actually really good. They're well organized, and he's taken down all the important points from the teacher's lecture. Sweet. I guess it's always the quiet ones who are the geniuses. I hope he doesn't think I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the mall. Time to go shopping. Some of these stores are so expensive. Oh well, so everybody's got to make money somehow, right? Right. Well, I think I'll go get those track pants. There we go. How can you lose? You can't. And can I afford any books? Um... Maybe I should get this. The Rivenwell Online Official Guide. Important information about the game along with the full color art. Maybe I can find that rule that Tra Travis was talking about in there. Yes. Now you've only got a dollar, so we'll leave it there. Go home. 
That's enough shopping. Time to head home. Do do do. Email. Nope. No email. Uh, how much studying? I still have quite a ways to go in studying. Study. More musical notes. This is really easy. Woohoo! Twenty-seven. I'm feeling lazy today, so I wear my comfy new track pants to wear. <laughs> what? New track pants to wear? Uh, I wear my comfy new track pants to school. And then I took a nap because my brain stopped functioning. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, <sighs> this is nice. I should do this more often. Hmm, agreed. You look pleased with yourself. <laughs> Well, I did get these pants for you, so I hope you're pleased. Just pleased that I'm so comfortable right now. Hey! Ah, uh, casual Friday, I see. Hey, it actually is Friday, too. I'm glad that you don't prefer form over function. Mm-hmm. Hey, I like looking nice once in a while, too, you know. And you do look nice. But only sensible people know when not to worry about fashion. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you think I'm sensible, then? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> That's like your go-to phrase, isn't it, buddy? Hmm, I wonder. Well, time to go to the computer lab for lunch. Eh, nothing interesting on my email and my Facebook. I will help out at school. Should I work on my project? How about school? I spent an hour switching off between calling people for donations and mailing out envelopes. Not the most rewarding work, but now I've got $13, which I needed, so I'll go home. Did you email me about my fantastic pants? No. <laughs> oh well, too much to hope for, I guess. More notes! Wow! Now it's the weekend. Before I do this... 34. I need two more intelligence. So one more study not to do it. I feel like playing Ribbon Wall Online, so I think I shall. Logging in! Woohoo! Oh no. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Ruby of the Sword is logged on. Greetings, Rui of the Anger Management Issues. <sighs> Your antics don't impress me. Oh yeah, and learn how to spell. Unless you really did mean to gret me. Oh, did he say grettings? <laughs> I missed that typo. Is that really the best you can do? Just so you know, I had a lot of fun with you this week. What? Oh, that's kind of you. I'm sure you'll have even more fun when I take back my blessed stone. You haven't given up on finding me yet, have you? What makes you say that? Well, you don't really seem that close to figuring out who I am. Do you need a hint, huh? Do you need a life? Oh, burn! Eloquent as always. Well, I shall leave you to your fun, then. <sighs> Alistair's logged off in good riddance. Aw, where was Fiona when I needed her? <laughs> I played for a few hours, but my heart's really not in it. Talking with Alistair kind of ruined my mood. I hear ya. Well, that was the end of the second week. And so I got my network where I needed it to be. I'm almost at where I need to be for intelligence. And my money's going back up. Life is good. Life is good.